Hello everybody and welcome to yet another episode of Perpetual Testing. For today's chamber we are going to be having a go at Pistlers and Pistons. And this was made and recommended by Commander TNT. So a big thank you to Commander TNT. Also interestingly, the portal signage does not know how to do an ampersand apparently. Interesting. Doesn't come up all that often for us to actually have noticed that I suppose. Uh, this chamber features laser reception, laser redirection, deadly deadly goo and of course tubes that will deliver us cubes. Ah, it also appears to feature the giant yellow fizzler. Wait, piss. Do you call these pistlers? These are fizzlers, right? Have I been calling them the wrong thing all this time? These are definitely fizzlers and not pistlers, right? Please tell me I haven't been calling them the wrong thing for years. I hope it's fizzlers because I don't like the word pistler. It sounds like something a Scotsman does. Uh, anyway, what have we actually got? We've got a button connected to this particular yellow fizzler. Yellow fizzler, you you don't let portals through. You don't turn portals off pretty sure you destroy cubes. Uh, there is a button here which does that particular one there. Elevator here, laser receptor cube delivery mechanism tube style. Well that's easy enough, we can do you. Which will drop us a cube. Uh, you're just going to keep doing that though, aren't you? Yeah, apparently you're just going to keep doing that. Um, there's no way I can be on that, right? Uh, oh, you do have a bunch of panels up there. There's no way I can be on there, is there? No, because you can't put a portal through there. Okay, let's leave that there so it keeps doing that little respawning loop. And let's have a look at what else is actually in here. Uh, our exit is there. It's also up on, on an elevator. The elevator is connected to a relay in the middle of the room here. Here is a lovely little pool of deadly deadly goo. Just for aesthetic reasons, maybe? It's got a panel behind it, though. Uh, there is another laser receptor here which will give us a cube there. Well, that one should be relatively easy, right? If we put orange on you. That brings the elevator down. That delivers us a cube. Oh. Oh, right, of course, because you're going to keep doing that. Um, you stay there for the moment so you don't keep respawning. So we also have a room up the top there with another laser receptor, and that is what is actually going to do our door. So I'm already thinking that this is a chamber with not a great deal of stuff in it, but it's probably more complicated than it looks. Because chambers with very little stuff tend to be more complicated than they look. And, well, as we all know, I have a, have a bad habit of making any chamber far more complicated than it needs to be. Uh, what is actually up in there? Is there anything else up here? Up here is just the laser receiver, and that will do our exit. So it's going to be to do with getting the lasers in the right place and then swapping them over, right? So, first thing, is there a way to get that cube in here? Because I feel like we probably really, really want that cube. Um, I'm going to need to be on this. Could I drop a cube onto you out of the ceiling? Like, there? Drop the orange one somehow? Uh, let's just test something quickly because you are relatively easy to get back. Uh, in fact, you are easy to get back. You're the easiest because we haven't actually managed to get the first one yet. You do destroy on yellow. Yeah, you do. And you're not automatic. Okay, fine. We need the laser again. Which means standing up on you. Take you through here. Wait, do you burn? No, so we might need to go through the same hole as a laser at some point. Or that might just be turned off for convenience. Uh, you keep respawning because you do that, right? So let's get you to stay there for the moment. So, first thoughts, let's take the cube up into that room there. We have a portal there. Let's line you up with there. And let's put the portal nice and low so that you line up there. Let's go through into the first place. Uh, we leave the blue up in there. We put the orange on the wall in there. And uh, that'll do the exit, right? That does do the exit. Uh, that will actually stay on whilst we're here. So then we'd need that to be lower. So we then have to move the blue to you. Ah, that's going to destroy the cube every time, isn't it? Yeah. So not have you touch this relay or not have you go past the relay would actually make more sense so we do need the other cube we need to get this cube to be able to block that laser right so how do we get this cube um i mean there's this doesn't doesn't seem oh wait i haven't put you there that would make more sense it does seem to just keep doing that so destroy the yellow cube somehow 
Yeah, let's get the yellow cube into this space in here. Let's put a uh, portal up there. Let's take this one through here. Get the yellow cube into a place where I can actually get it out to that button. So then, uh, wait, we can't do it that way. We could. We could leave it. Oh, wait, is there any interesting angles in here? If we put the blue on you, we can still go through because the yellow won't turn off any of our portals. So this would technically redirect that to not touch to not touch either of those two things. If we thought about it, can't go that way because we didn't think about it, and there's a load of deadly deadly goo. Can't have you touch this again, which is why I think we need that other cube to block it. So I want to go about trying to block this first. Let's take it in there. You're nowhere near high enough for up into there, no. Are uh, you anywhere near high enough or angled to get into there? No, you are also not. Uh, I want to take you out here. Let's leave the orange there. Let's put the blue up on the ceiling. You don't line up with this button, do you? You, you might do, actually. You might do. Uh, if I drop you onto there now, where do you go? Do you just drop beautifully onto the button? I mean, yeah, kind of, but not really. Well, what if we had you not in there? You could sit there. Keeps all of that off. So actually, what if we had you in there again? Which means I need to destroy you and take you in there again. A new one of you. Uh, which means we do actually need that one to do this particular portal. Grab you before you mess yourself up. Leave the orange where it is. Put the blue up there. Take you through into that side. Let's put you... I want to say so that you're not doing this, but then I need a way to destroy you as well. You line up out there. You could probably totally hit that relay there. But then you don't have the ability to be anywhere else. Uh, let's put the blue up there and try that then. Line you up with the relay. Where's that relay? Somewhere out there, right? Somewhere out there? Do you not, do you not work? Are you too high? You don't line up anywhere near as nicely as I thought you did, do you? No, but you could do it like here or here, actually. We could hit the relay there, right? So that would give us the way to get onto the elevator to go up. We then don't have a way to get the laser to redirect up there. Unless there was some sort of specially tight angle. You just kind of need to block that, right? So we definitely need this other cube. So how can I get this other cube? I feel like this shouldn't be the hardest part of this, is getting that other cube. I can't, but I can. I can't, but I can. You sit on there. Wait, it's not just that, is it? Yeah, it's totally just that. Because I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot seriously overcomplicating things that don't need to be seriously overcoated. Yeah, you're going to keep doing that though. Okay, fine. So, drop me a cube. You drop me any cube. And we just do that to get you out of there. Why? 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 You weren't, weren't doing the thing. Well, we're up here now anyway, so let's do there. Grab you. Don't destroy. Why are you destroying? You need to not destroy. Don't destroy. Why are you destroying? Why did you keep destroying? Fuck it, I'm taking you. I'm taking you. I've got you now. You're mine to work with. Uh, that means let's take you into this side. Let's do blue up there. Do the orange there again. Take you into here. Now, my thoughts is to block this. Right, block that. Which means you can have the laser come through here. Let's get... Um, I do want you again first, though, don't I? So let's get... The orange into here again. I mean, let's get the laser into here again with the blue there. I can take you out of the way for the moment and then do you again so that we get that. Right? That makes sense. Then we could go up into there and place this cube with this. And I think we're about to realize that I can't make the angle I'm thinking we're trying to make. So let's place you pointing into that spot there. Put the blue lower lined up. 
Then get the orange to bring the blue through. Can't do that there. We've got to do it here. We can't jump down, but we can just go through because of the yellow fizzlers. It can't just be, like, swapping them, can it? You're doing the exit up there. So you'd need to do there first. And you're blocked by that. And then there's absolutely no way to have the angle to get up in there. Unless I can make an angle now to get you to get rid of that. Uh... That gets me up here. Doesn't give me an angle in there, though, because Commander TNT has thought about that and put glass in there just to block that. So what could you even do with that, then? No, you don't line up with... You wouldn't do that, would you? If I can get you to? You don't line up in there? You do line up in there! That can't be right. You could never rely on that being perfectly neat in there, could you? Could you? I don't build maps. Does that always land perfectly square in there? Because if it doesn't, this can't be a thing. If it does, this could totally be a thing. Let's find out if it's a thing, shall we? Uh, let's go down here. Let's put the... Let's put anything anywhere. Let's, uh, first of all... Well, fuck it. Let's put the blue there. Like that. You still block up there. I want to go back up into there. I want to go back up into there. Could you genuinely line up from here? Like, if I found the perfect spot to get you into there. And I mean, that looks like it should work to me. That can't be a thing, can it? If that's genuinely a thing, then that's very, very cool. And I've never seen it before. Let's put the blue there again. Uh, let's get the laser from the other side of the room again. We need it to be doing this bit first. No, we don't. We need it to do anything other than that bit first. Uh, let's do in here. Let's put anything, because it doesn't matter at this point, there. Uh, then we would need to bring it down with orange on there. And then I get you to go off of there with there. And think about it next time and use the correct bloody coloured portal. Why do I always do that? Seriously, why do I always bloody do that? Everything should be in the right place, yeah? Let's put orange there then. Why do I always do that still? Let's put the blue on you again. Uh, let's go stand. No, we need the elevator down first, which we bring you down with that. You block there. Then I go on here and we move you to... Wait, hold on. We move orange. There, but it's not lined up properly. Is that really what we're supposed to be doing? It's so close. I can't tell if that's actually touching it or not. If it's touching it and it's not doing it, then for whatever reason, laser doesn't work through that particular glass. Or it's just behind it and my perception of depth is absolutely terrible. Let's uh, see if we can reposition that a bit better, shall we? It is absolutely bloody miles off. That's why it's not working. Fine, let's go back up in there. For some reason, that is miles off, so let's uh, bring you back a fair bit. Like, there. I mean, to me, that's that's nowhere near, but maybe there's a tiny little degree of angle going on in there. Let's go get our laser again from the other side. With that one, and then that one to bring the elevator down. You just seem to be necessary for not respawning our laser cube. So then we stand upon here. And what is it before we mess this up? We put orange on... There? Really? I'm taking it. Okay. Um, I've never seen that before. I've never actually had to use a laser going through the cube that is still sat in the delivery tube which technically gave us two cubes. 
But I didn't think you could ever rely on the cube in the tube landing perfectly inside the tube. I thought a little bit of a source mischief physics took over when it landed in there, and you could never rely on that. Weird. Very cool, very unique. I like that. I've never seen that before, and anything that I've never seen before in Portal excites me a great deal. Still not fond of the word pistlers. Does sound like something a Scotsman would do. Anyway, that was Pistlers and Pistons by Commander TNT. Big thank you to Commander TNT for that one. If you would like to recommend a map for me to try and play, especially if you've got something cool and unique and that I've probably never seen before, then please do so via the usual means, which now includes the link in the description and the clicky thing up in the top corner of the screen. Don't know why I always do that. Can't physically move to the top right corner. Doesn't work like that. It's a first person puzzler game. And anyway, um, yeah, that's the end of that one. Thank you very, very much for watching. Please do submit anything new and cool that you've got. And uh, I don't actually have anything cool to think of because in all honesty, it is now 6.03 a.m. I have to get up in four hours and I really needed to get a chamber done. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you later.